As an unemployed body, my days can be very random. Well, why am I at a walk of shame on a random Wednesday in Lagos with this view? Yeah? I decided to go to Lagos because the temperature in Abuja was too hot. I'm just kidding, actually. <laughs> and although Abuja is hotter than a witch's coochie, I actually went to Lagos for work. I wonder what I do for work and live for a living. Um, this guy was about to die from carrying my suitcase and all my generations inside of yeah, it. Yeah, I made it to my flight even with a meat pie in sight. Hmm. Word, 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 word. The problem is my village people had other plans for me. See this lady here? She works with the FBI. So how did I leave all of my money on my wallet in the airport taxi and how did she find him from LinkedIn? Anyways, we chose to celebrate. If you like drinks from Mako, at least that's what I was told until I saw this clear tray of shots. It wouldn't be Lagos if you didn't arrive from the airport and went straight to Emotive. I had drinks by a bar whilst a married man kept asking, are you a mulatto? Are you a mulatto? I don't know how I ended up at the club. Don't ask me. Anyways, I woke up the next morning to hangover videos I sent to someone I really should not be texting. To be fair, it probably feels so good for the people on my phone to receive like drunk texts from me. I'm sorry for being the girl of your dreams. I'm so sorry, but there's nothing I can do about it. After that evening, I attended FemFest. In a world full of afro I'm so proud to be a house music girly. Anyways, I met so many of the besties and I was so glad I was able to comport myself because guys, when I tell you I was hungover, exhausted, on my period, anything that was holding my life together was this dress because it was holding all my period bloating in one place. Something about that evening was giving risky so my friend and I came up with a very mischievous plan. I had to stay at home for Easter and cook up a storm so we could ask our husband for money. Honestly, the Igbo in me jumped out. I cooked like I never cooked before. But frankly, I also needed the rest because Lagos had been already too chaotic. That's the sigh of a girl whose ex is after her life. What's this ginormous breakout on the day I have my first red carpet event? Make matters worse, I didn't even know what to wear. So I had a suitcase full of clothes that could take me to the end of the world and back. Just something about having somewhere to go that makes all your clothes suddenly ugly and useless. I had to eat a bag because you don't know if they will serve you food at the event. You want to be the fine girl that'll be begging for small chops. Like, please, have they served the rice? I asked my friend to put extra lettuce in my burger so I can stick to my diet. 14 years and 40 nights, the fine girl was finally ready to go to her event. There's one thing having big boobs will make you do is make you look like a whore, even though you're wearing the most responsible outfit on earth. But what was bothering me more was the fact that my nails looked like I had gone through World War III. For some reason, they decided to break just before the event so i decided to paint them in the car I actually ended up looking super cute and neat anyways the event was giving out of space cyborg to mention tiwa savage meeting me and i meeting her oh my god you can't tell me nothing messes are competing with mtn everywhere you go just Purr. like that i was like since i'm in town you know what let me just call my friend and see if she's down for a sleepover of course she was down so guess what i did <laughs> red white wine and rosé and i headed straight to be a menace the weird thing about being an adult is that you come to visit your friends because you're on holiday but they're not on holiday because they're still working so you just have to tag along with them while they're working at the same time it's like i'm in your city pookie i'm on holiday pookie you need to be on holiday too pookie so why is it such a great olympic as an adult to like match schedules she was finally done working we had some wine by the balcony but mosquitoes were chasing us so we had to come back inside change into our pajamas and get into this hot gossip you know when your friend and you haven't seen for like months and you have to pack all the gossip for like six months actually after putting all the two and twos together finding out whose husbands are cheating who's become a runs baby we're finally ready for bed this was where i had my first walk of shame I'm begging for pajamas i had to beg for clothes too in fact this is my second dress i'm stealing from Faye at this point and honestly by the looks of it i'm not returning this one either what's mine is yours and yours is my pookie Wait, singing don't pay my bills guess what does filming video so i came back home to film a story time about how i left my wallet in the airport taxi and i set out for the day only to be a menace in the end i will arrive late but at least i look cute pookie i was going to meet henrietta so we could film something but i was terribly late partially my fault partially due to traffic but guys why is henrietta's light as big as my head it's bigger than my head <laughs> Gigantic! <laughs> what the hell? And it's so heavy! It's not heavy. I think yes, yes it, it is. Anyways, eventually we got to filming, and guys, I finished Henrietta's wine like two of. Her. <laughs> two of her bottles of wine i mean in my defense okay they weren't both full but it was so embarrassing anyways we filmed the most random drunk chicha ever for youtube and i headed to slow to meet my friends for dinner if i don't come to slow whilst i'm in lagos i didn't come to lagos the lasagna 100 over 10 salmon 50 over 10 also got some tacos but i packed them to go because i was so full and of course i still had space for a porn star martini what you mean baby so got extra lasagna to take back home because um, this morning i was teaching my godson how to be jeff bezos because we need him to make money i beg guys i'm such a liar like unprovoked <laughs> One day I went out with him and someone asked me like, oh my god, do you have a child? And I was like, yes, I'm a mother. I don't even know why I lied. I don't even know. But always do it for the plot, never for the peace. Today I was headed out to see one of my bestest friends ever who I actually met at an airport because our flight got cancelled. Literally randomly started talking to each other at duty free and bam, we're friends for life. Start climbing what seemed like a mountain. We finally made it to restaurants. It's one of my favorite restaurants in Lagos as well. Thai Thai. They just have amazing Thai food. And oftentimes it's quite quiet during the day. Because I beg, it's not every day when they move for that. Yahoo boy, blah, 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 blah. 
Lagos. Sometimes you really just want to wear Ankara and go to a restaurant with your friend and be the only people there. So it feels like you guys rented out the place. Because as much as some of my friends are very different from me and in fact different to each other, one thing we do have in common is we're very delusional. Anyways, the food was amazing as expected. And we did that thing we do all the time where we both order different things from the menu so we can all try each other's food. <laughs> Girl, math till I die. If this tea was not even nearly as piping hot as the tea she gave me this afternoon. For the first time ever, I thank God for Lagos traffic because we had enough time to finish the tea before I went back home. Just when I thought Lagos had finally calmed down for me, my friend's husband was like, you know what, let's go to the beach. You and OG Bessie, you know I never say no to a bad idea because I had so much work to do. But I was like, you know what, I'm going to work by the beach. Lies, because we literally started drinking the bottle of wine from the car. I'm looking for the car. Jeez, I can't believe we're going to be the parents of today. Anyways, I carried my little Jeff Bezos to the beach. We randomly found this place, guys. It was so stunning. I mean, what a freak. I'm so stunning. There's one Oyibo guy that was trying to talk to us, but the problem is, he just looks so hungry. Like, how can you be dating a broke colonizer? That is literally a crime against your ancestors. Anyways, don't ask me how my diet was going this trip, because the only thing it was going was nowhere. It was going Especially nowhere. because I was on my period, and I was battling so many internal demons and cravings. I didn't let that stop me from having fun, even though I couldn't go into the water. Anyways, here I am, pretending to be happy that I'm under the sun. I can't even lie. I hate tanning, guys. I hate it so much, because I never tan evenly. I always tan, like, in patches. Some parts will be dark, some parts will be light. But whatever, we're in the vibe, we're in the moment. So that evening, I got ready and went to a dinner I had no business going to. Because if you're not toxic in Lagos, where else would be toxic in anyways i guess god punished me because i missed my flight you can also see from my eyes i was clearly hung over so i called one of my homegirls who live on the mainland i was like girl pick me up please after coming to my rescue she took me to this place where we got like amazing sandwiches it felt like i missed my flight for a reason because this was so good save one of my sandwiches for later so that when my friend is looking at me she'll be jealous until that evening i don't know how they convinced me to go to the cinema to watch a horror movie i think she said something about the more you scream in the movie the more you lose weight like all the calories from what you ate today so i was like i hey, wait Lagos people are actually insane like why are you drinking this much alcohol at the cinema this thing was like 90 percent alcohol two percent strawberries glory be to god the horror movie they wanted to watch was not available so they picked a movie called monkey man i didn't even know anything about it before we went in there usually i'm a bollywood girl but i swear this was the most confusing movie i've ever watched in my whole life clearly no one cared that i had a 7 a.m flight to catch the next day including me because this is me and my second walk of shame haha <laughs> the biggest lesson from this trip for me was just carry a spare change of clothing in your bag because when you're in lagos you never know where you end up and then in the morning you'll be looking like one crazy homeless person oh they fixed third mainland it was looking brand new and we headed to the mainland obviously because i had a flight to catch anyways only big boob girlies will understand exactly what i'm doing right now turns out nowhere in lagos is far traffic is just crazy because it took us about 30 minutes to get to the airport the special grace of god i made it to abuja not looking like what i had just gone through 